Hey guys, Dr. Shelley here. I want to talk to you about fat loss, specifically how to shrink your fat cells. And you might be wondering why I didn't say lose your fat cells, and that's because it's widely accepted that once you have a fat cell, you have a fat cell. So what we can do as far as weight loss is concerned is we can shrink the fat cell. Let me explain to you real quick before I get into how to actually do this, let me explain to you the physiology behind this and why we can't just lose fat cells to lose weight. Fat cells are basically cells that are storage containers in your body. And let's say it's like, you know, you have a fat cell that's about this big, right? If you overfill that fat cell by eating too much, whether it was when you were five years old or 20 years old and it swelled and it got bigger, it gets to a certain point where it becomes two fat cells, okay? And once you have two fat cells, you have two fat cells. So the best way to handle all this is not to gain weight in the first place, but unfortunately for some of us, especially if we were overweight when we were younger or even if we were obese when we were younger, some of that is out of our control. It's partially due to genetics, how many you're, you're born with, but let's say you're born with 15 billion fat cells and you happen to be very overweight you know, when you were in middle school or high school and your 15 billion fat cells are now 30 billion fat cells. It makes losing weight very, very challenging but it is not impossible. Even if you have double the amount of fat cells than what you were born with, I'm gonna to talk to you about the fastest way that you can shrink them and lose weight. So when you eat an excess of calories, meaning more calories than what your body can actually burn, your body takes those extra calories and puts them in the storage containers in your fat cells. And whether it's too many carbs or too much protein or whatever you ate too much of, the excess cal calories are saved in those cells in the form of a triglyceride. In order to shrink a fat cell, you need to have that triglyceride be broken down into a form of energy that your body can use. In this situation, the process is known as lipolysis. And what's happening is that triglyceride is being broken down into fatty acids that then go to your liver and your liver converts them into a form of energy that you can burn. What's interesting and the reason why carbs are responsible for gaining fat is because when you eat carbohydrates, your body releases insulin, right, to get to use the carbohydrates for energy. But what insulin does on a fat cell is it doesn't allow the process of lipolysis to occur. It inhibits it temporarily. So when you eat a lot of carbs and you also eat a lot of fat, those fat cells that already their purpose is to hold on to extra energy and extra calories, it now can't even break down the triglycerides that are already in it to be burnt as fat. So what just happened? Those fat cells are now fatter, okay? And what happens when they get bigger? They separate into two and you have twice as many fat cells as you did before. So what do we do? Are we all screwed? If we were overweight because our mom and dad fed us too much or are we overweight forever because we you know, ate a little bit too much for over quarantine or because we were a little bit depressed last year because of a breakup and we gained 30 pounds, 50 pounds, are we screwed? No. What you need to do to shrink your fat cells fast is something called intermittent fasting and a low carb diet. And before you go to the next video because you don't wanna hear this anymore because it already sounds too challenging, let me explain to you why this actually works so that you understand it might be the single best way to shrink your fat cells permanently. When you eat a lot of carbohydrates, your body releases a hormone called insulin. And insulin is what your body needs in order to use the energy from the carbohydrates you just ate. But insulin also inhibits lipolysis. So when you have insulin in your bloodstream, your fat cells are not able to break down the triglycerides and therefore the carbs that you just ate, especially if you ate too many, are just going to be converted and stored 
in your fat cells as extra energy. And now not only did your fat cells not shrink because of the insulin, they expanded even more to the point of even having two fat cells, okay? So the first thing you need to do is you need to watch your carbs, okay? If you are somebody who is trying to lose weight, you have to reduce the amount of carbohydrates you're eating. You have to. It is near impossible to lose weight naturally if you're eating a ton of carbohydrates. This goes for me too. I wasn't always thin. I I have more fat cells than what I was born with, I promise you. When it comes to intermittent fasting, it works better than anything else that I know of to shrink fat cells. Hormone levels uh, become more balanced. Your cells that are not so healthy actually break down and die so new ones can grow. I mean, there's so many health benefits of intermittent fasting. But when it comes to lipolysis and when it comes to shrinking your fat cells, intermittent fasting is vital because when you fast, meaning you're not consuming high sugar beverages and just not eating, I mean, I'm talking fasting, your body is forced to use those energy reserves in the adipocyte. So when you fast, your body is going to release the contents of each adipocyte, ultimately shrinking it, okay? Kind of cool, right? This might seem easier said than done for some of us. However, when the fat cell shrinks, there are a lot of hormones involved in this, and one of them is responsible for actually telling your body that the fat cell is shrinking and that you need to eat again. And this is why if you have 30 billion fat cells that are shrinking because you cut your carbs and you're doing some intermittent fasting, it's awesome. They're shrinking, right? You're using those energy reserves. But you got 30 billion fat cells screaming out to your brain, help, we're starving, feed us. We need to, we need to restore, replenish our, our energy reserves. So it is harder if you were overweight at one point to lose weight or to lose fat, I should say, but it is not impossible. And the fastest way to do it is with a fast. Fastest way is with a fast. If you want to speed up the process even more, try intermittent fasting with a little bit of exercise first thing in the morning. So like if you stop at dinner, stop eating at dinner time and you don't eat until like 7 or 8 a.m. and then you go for like a 45 minute walk, that's actually going to speed up the process of lipolysis. So those fat cells are going to shrink even faster. So just to sum everything up, if you want to lose fat by shrinking your fat cells as quickly as possible, you need to do three things. You need to cut your carbs significantly. It is almost impossible to shrink those fat cells when you're eating a lot of carbohydrates. You need to try some intermittent fasting. And if you're interested in a couple intermittent fasting programs, look for my videos on that, which I will be posting soon. The third thing is if you're intermittent fasting, try to do a little bit of exercise during the fast to speed that process up. I hope you got a lot of value from this video and look for the videos on intermittent fasting that I'll be posting soon.